What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. For those of you who know about Brittany Renner's interview, you will know a few things. One, that she has sex with over 35 different guys or had sex with over 35 different guys. And number two, when it, you know, you're attractive and you're out here just getting them cheeks clapped up, hey, some other guys are interested in also clapping cheeks too. It's like, hey, if you're gonna just, you know, let them clap it, you might as well let me clap them, right? And as the great philosopher Snoop Dogg said once, it ain't no fun if the homie can't have none. Exactly, right? So so since that's the case, let me get involved also. Okay, like, you know, I, you, you're out here letting folks clap cheeks, so why don't I get involved in the cheek clapping? Who nominates himself to be a cheek clapper? He wants to be number 36, guys. It is Rick Fox. Now, for those of you who know Rick Fox is just like Brittany Renner, he is mixed race, um, always been a very popular uh, man with black women. He was married to um, Vanessa Williams. So this is what he says. Hey, Shannon Sharp, so many questions. When she says black, where do you think she draws a line? I'm just asking for all the one drop brothers and sisters out there who are aspiring to be number 36 to 50. <laughs> one drop rule. <laughs> so let me let me just say that. Let me say that. Okay. Um, it, it sounds funny. And he probably is not really interested. But then again, let me just tell you the problem with, you know, like I said, some of these ladies out here who are putting it out there like this. I, I come from a time where, where women would, would like be screwing everybody, but they would always lie about it. Like, no, I didn't do that. I didn't suck his thing. I don't even know this dude. Then it come to find out like two years later, like she tells she actually did it. Okay, but that's because women are trying to, you know, protect their reputation. So it makes sense. Like, no, I don't want to come out and tell you that I've been out here thotting it up like that because Number one, I don't really want you to know that it's not your business. And, 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 and number two, I don't want to stop away or let's say stop my chances with getting somebody else, which makes sense. You shouldn't want to stop, okay, your ability to get somebody else. It's only right. Unfortunately, gentlemen, that's not what we're seeing here. Unfortunately, what we are seeing we're seeing women out here just pretty much come out there and say it. Look, yeah, we're out here getting ran through and we want to be open about it because we want to inspire somebody else to come out and talk about it. We want to tell people that. And the issue is when you when you do stuff like that, right? Um, it makes guys not respect you. OK, it, it really doesn't. It, it, it makes guys say, you know what? I just don't want to be dealing with. It just goes, I don't really want to deal with that. It doesn't make sense. You know, I don't think that's actually decent. It's not decent and it's not an order. Okay. I don't want to deal with that. And that's what happens when guys start to realize that you are easy because other people can confirm it. Well, what do guys do? Guys don't be like, oh man, she's fine. I want to wife her. You know, I mean, some guys may say that they may really like her, but you can't really claim somebody like that. So what happens is you, you get relegated to being a side chick for the rest of your life. Brothers say, I want to just side chick her up. Okay. Side chick her up. I just want to be, you know, make her a side chick. That's it. I, I don't really care about, you know, taking it further with her. Because number one, let's say if you're one of those born again virgins, and you know, I know we have ladies who are. So let's assume we're talking about that. You're a born again virgin, right? Let's assume that you're born again virgin. But the problem is there's 34 other guys out there who can, who can claim that, hey, the chick that you're with, not only was I smashing it, but I didn't have to marry her to do that. I was able to get her for the low. All right. And then you're stupid because you're the one that married her. All right. That's that's the first problem with that. OK, the, the, the second problem what that is, um, it goes back into your mind that, hey, listen, here's 34 different guys or more, 
and she probably can't pair bond. So, you know, if anything goes wrong in the relationship, she might actually try to go out and, you know, do it again. Do it again. What I, what I mean when I say that, that means do it again with anybody. All right. Because you're so used to doing that. Let me go out there and do it myself. It's okay. It's fine. And that seems to be the fundamental issue and problem there. All right. It's just different things that you're doing all the time. So because, hey, we have a problem. You'll just go out there and call one of your exes and, and basically sleep with this guy. Is that is that true? I, I think so. Yes. Yes, unless you decide you don't want to do that, but probably yes. And so this is why when, when women go out there and you tell your, your friends, or you, you're open about this stuff. Number one, you shouldn't be doing it if you want somebody to take you seriously. Because like my grandma always say, if I don't want somebody to not take me seriously, right? Let's say, for example, if I want somebody to take me seriously, maybe I shouldn't do certain things, right? I should do certain things. If I don't want people to not take me seriously, I shouldn't be doing. So if I can't do it in the dark, I shouldn't do it in the light. Is that right? I shouldn't do it in the dark if I don't want it to come out to the light. Fair enough. But if I'm willing to do it, all right, if I'm willing to do it and it comes out that I've been out here getting smashed up and I'm and, I, and then I'm also willing to admit it openly. Well, what guy can come out and say, hey, uh, I, I really, this is my girl. Yeah, mom, I worked so hard in my life to come out and, um, and deal with this person. This is what I worked for. <laughs> you know, I worked hard for this. I worked hard for this. Oh, yeah, this is the girl that I've been, I've been dreaming of. Brittany Renner, I, I went to law school, I built a business just so I can get somebody who had 34 other guys who didn't have to marry her and with the kid so I can take care of her. This is exactly what I've been looking for my whole life, mom. I'm sorry, but this is what I need. I need this. This is what I want. This is what I need. Who can take that seriously? Where? Where do you do that at? Where? Who? How? So guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. We're out.